today i'm going to introduce your senior from llm part 2 ronojoy shaha right yes sir. and ronojoy shaha he will be taking class today right yes ma'am so i'm handovering this mic to ronojoy shaha Good morning, juniors. Uh, I am your senior, as Ma'am said uh, just now. So, uh, a little bit introduction about me. So, I am very new to this college. Okay. So, previously I was uh, from Azra. So, and uh, today we shall discuss about the uh, offenses against property. Okay, of its against property under IPC. So, sir, shall we uh, share our screen or in traditional method, whatever you like, uh, in PPT mode or in uh, React mode, whatever you like. Please, anyone, please respond. First of all, tell us. Please respond. Anyone? Yes. PPT is better. PPT is better. As you wish, that now actually I can hear you properly. Okay. So, so which language uh, do you comfort most? Uh, basically, English or in Bengali. Don't ask. Don't uh, feel. Uh, don't feel too hesitate. Is it Bengali or English? Just quick on. Um, okay. Both. Both. Okay. okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, if you can, you can uh, turn on your cameras, okay? And uh, so, listen carefully. I I will ask questions from there, okay? So, I am sharing my screen. At the end of the class, I will ask questions. Thank you. Hope is it visible to you? Is it? Please respond, yes. guys. I am your senior, not a professor. Is it visible? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so last class. Last week I have met uh, to Madhuri Ma uh, on your class that uh, she told me that uh, this topic has uh, not completed in your semester. So I choose that this topic, and uh, ma'am ma also uh, recommend me to uh, to read and to study this topic and to give a talk uh, to you, as this is our in in our syllabus. So let's start. Mm. That our topic is offences against property under Chapter Seventy, sections from three seventy eight to four sixty two. So offences against property here uh, plays a mm, very prominent role in IPC. So there is two factor uh, is working. That is wrongful gain and wrongful loss. Wrongful gain we uh, all know that. Uh, any any person who uh, snatch away or uh, theft anything or they are disorderly in, intending to take a, a, any anyone without any consent that is wrongful loss and another is wrongful gain uh, to the opposite person so uh, now uh, we shall start hmm, of offenses against property how many uh, kinds of offenses are there there is theft extortion theft means Uh, to dishonestly taking anything, extortion. Uh, it's mean uh, in Bengali. It is better to uh, 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 to understand you. That is uh, chintai and robbery when the uh, group of people uh, doing so. Uh, it's including the both theft and the extortion. Okay, then uh, then come to the dacoity. Dacoity five or more persons are including. We will we'll be coming uh, to discuss uh, discuss. Okay. There is criminal breach of trust, cheating. Cheating means 
uh, uh, means in, uh, in what we do in the classrooms or in the um, exam halls, there, that is not cheating. Cheating is the another sense. Okay. There is mischief and also, uh, but not the least, criminal trespass is there. So we'll come a uh, few topics today and then the earlier, uh, then the next day. Okay. So we'll come to the theft. Theft is section. Hope you have a uh, barracks with you or criminal manuals. IPC, is it? Yes. 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 So yes. take out. Take out. Yes. Take out. Take out and uh, keep a pencil with your hand, because I will share also uh, our bear act from there. Okay. Have you take out your bear X? Yes. Yes. Okay. Everyone. Thefts is defined under section 378 of the Indian Penal Code. Anyone uh, please tell me that what is the year uh, of Indian Penal Code? In which year Indian Penal Code was enacted? Anyone? In which year? 1860. 1860. Very good. So here theft means dishonestly taking any movable property. Dishonestly means not honestly, but the dishonestly one. Jeta to mother, the body jeta, ke wada misintention, intentionally ki chhota niche, any movable property, not not their immovable property, movable property like anything. Okay, out of the position of another person. On locker kache ase sheta niche ke on on me ke wada, I mean chiniye niche dishonestly without the consent of this person. Consent the theft without the consent of this property or moving that property in in order to such things is known as theft. So now we come to the bear act, bear act from IPC. So I'll share my bear act. So what bear act says? Uh, can anyone please read slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly, please, juniors, anyone? Please, anyone read from the Bear Act? Anyone? Oops. Whoever oh. intending to take yes. dishonestly any movable property out of the possession of any person without that person's consent moves that property in order to such taking is said to commit theft. Yes. Then whoever is intending to take dishonestly any immovable property. Here you underline to take dishonestly. Hmm. Underline with this uh, with your uh, pencil. Take dishonestly. We understand that is dishonest. Uh, that uh, to commit a crime, there are four stages. Anyone, please tell me. What are the four stages? What are the four stages? Please, anyone. What are the four stages to commit a crime? It will be interaction mode, not the. Uh, I will say, and you will say. Kiki chatte stage ashe. Kya bol the word? Sir, preparation. First one is preparation, then. Intention. Then. Attempt. Then, first one is intention to commit a crime, any crime. There must be an intention. Then, there is preparation. Knowledge. Then, no, I, I am saying. Just listen. First one is intention. If you, uh, just write it down in your copies. Hmm. First, one offense needs four steps. These are, on offense needs four steps. These are. First one, intention. Second, preparation. Third is attempt. Fourth is commission of offense. Shall I repeat? 
Yes. Yes. One offense needs four steps. These are first one is intention, number two, preparation, number three, attempt, number four, commission of offense. <clears throat> so here this this is a dishonesty take disaster is a intention intention to take away another's property any movable property it must be a movable property okay underline from here also from the pencil huh. out of the position of any person out of the position of any person without that person consent without that person consent just online from there in order to such taking is said to commit the theft moves the property so we, we uh, come to the explanation a thing explanation number 1 a thing so long as it is attached to the earth not being मोबाइल पेपर जेटा आर्थिक संगे अटैच हुए थे जेटा हमारे पृथ्वी संगे अटैच हुए थे जिस डेट कैन नॉट बी आ मोबाइल पेपर इस अ बिल्डिंग अ मोबाइल पेपर नॉट आह इस अ कार इस अ मोबाइल पेपर यस इस इट्स 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 कैन मूव नो सो इट्स अ मोबाइल पेपर नॉट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ थेप इफ इट्स वीकेंड्स A thing, so long as it is attached to the earth, is not movable property. It is not the subject of theft, but it becomes capable of being subject of a theft as soon as the severed from the earth. Explanation. Number two, a movable, a moving effect by the same act which affects the surveillance may be a theft. Okay, and there should be a uh, the concept mentioned definition may be expressed or implied. Implied, the concept. जार का स्थिति के अनुमति का नीच चीज़ मान अनुमति छड़ाई तो होती है इटा हाँ जिता चुड़ी कर चीज़ माने वाटा अनुमति छड़ाई होती है दैट दा कंसेंट में भी इधर एक्सप्रेस्ड और इम्प्लाइड इज़ इट ओके देन वी कम टू द इलेस्ट्रेशन ए कट्स डाउन्स आ ट्री ऑन जेड्स ग्राउंड with the intention of taking intention of dishonestly taking the tree of z's position without z's consent so here a cut down a z's ground a tree on z's ground a a hocche ekta byakti o ki korche o z er ground e giye o z er bagane ki korche ekta gach kere niye eshe with the intention of dishonestly taking ha ekhane dishonestly taking royeche ekhane tree of z's position जेटा जेडेड बागाने रोए से, जेडे जेडेड बागाने जेटा रोए से, हाँ, धर तो तेरे कारो बागान थे कि तेरा जोन अमगाज केटे नहीं चलेगा, हाँ, then what it will be the theft, this theft. Another point is he puts a bait for dogs in his pocket, he thus zets dogs to follow his hair, okay, say एक तो puts zets dog in his pocket and Z's dog is follow is there. Here H's mention is dishonestly to take dogs out of Z's position without Z's consent. Here A has committed the theft, Z's dog has begun to follow. So, 
we, are, we again come to the PPT. Hmm. So there are essential ingredients of TET. If we will just write down from your copy, there must be a dishonest intention. Okay. The property must be movable. The property must be taken away, taken out of the uh, position of another person. Obviously, it should be. There must be a some removal of uh, removal moving of the property in order to accomplish this taking. The same taking must be without the consent of the person. Okay, illustrations we have done. So we now come to the theft, punishment for theft. Okay. Section 379. 379. Please turn over section 379. Whoever commits from the bear act. Section 379. Whoever commits theft shall be punished with the imprisonment of either description for a term which may be extended to the three years or with fine or with both. theft three years punishment or or with the with fine or with both. Then we come to the our next section. Now we come to extortion. Just leave it. Why it is zooming? Section 383, please turn over. Section 383, that is extortion. Whoever intentionally puts any, whoever intentionally puts any person in fear of any injury or other, thereby dishonestly induces the person so put fear of delivery to a, uh, any person, any property or valuable security, anything signed or sealed which may be co converted to the valuable security, it's, it's said to be a extortion. In extortion, second key or second, what is the difference between theft and extortion? What is the difference between theft and extortion? Is there the fear of injury? Of that person. Jargas to get a snatch corny che, takata injury, but takata harmful kitchata, okay, at a kitchen ditch. They can have the dishonest intention is there and or to others, and valuable security is there and commits the extortion. Now, illustration A threatens to publish a defamatory level concerning Z unless Z gives him money. He thus induces Z to give him money. He has committed an extortion. What are the essential ingredients of extortion? 
is essential intentional putting any person in the fear of injury number second is to himself or some other person dishonestly inducing the person put in the fear of injury to deliver any property or valuable security to anyone and one most thing i have forgotten to write down uh, the some case laws from uh, theft okay uh, it, it will increase your paper and subscript value just write it down some case laws Right. Case loss from the theft. Are you writing? Yes. Yes. In after A V T A R in after Singh S I N G H in after Singh versus State of Punjab A I R nineteen sixty five. Please repeat. In after Singh. A V T A R Aftar Singh S I N G H Aftar Singh versus State of Punjab A I R 1965 S C triple six comma and underline to the full sentence. It has been held that A I R A I R 1965. complete sc triple 6 sc supreme court triple 6 it has been held that theft of electricity is not theft it has been held that theft of electricity is not theft of movable property within section 379 within section 379 of ipc however it is punishable under section 39 however it is punishable under section 39 of the indian electricity act 1910 Shall I repeat? Punishment under. Punishment under section thirty-nine of the Indian Electricity Act. Indian Electricity E L E C T R I C I T I Electricity Act, nineteen ten. Mr. Dosh, as theft of energy up to. as theft theft of energy up to 3 years of imprisonment 3 years of imprisonment or fine or fine up to rupees 5000 with a minimum rupees of 500 or with both now came to the next case laws uh, or fine up to fine up to 5000 rupees a minimum rupees of 500 or with both next in k n mehra in k n k dot n dot m e h r a mehra versus state of rajasthan a i r 19 yes yes i am repeating a i r 1957 sc 369 
इन के एन मेहरा वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान ए आई आर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एस सी थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन इज इट ओके और एनी वन लेफ्ट ए आई आर एस सी थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन सो इन दिस केस इट वॉज हेल्प दैट द ऑफेंस ऑफ थेफ्ट इज कॉमिटेड इफ द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एनदर पर्सन इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम हिम विदेंस ऑफ थे it was held that the offense of theft is committed here you can uh, see the captions offense of theft is committed if the property of another person is taken away from him without his consent in bracket express or implied after consent in, in bracket first bracket express or implied then bracket close with a dishonest in, intention intention full stop even a temporary retention even a temporary retention is enough to show theft has been theft has been committed all of you write down all of you write down please response other is i can't understand you yes yes that is needed so so what we have completed that is uh, extortion we have completed essential ingredients have you write down this uh, write down this 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 point essential ingredients do you need any more case laws from theft i have lots of do you need any any more case laws please response are ki kono case law lagbe good it उटेंटे there is a movable property extortion is whether it is movable or immovable doesn't matter theft it is taken but in extortion it is delivered theft in theft there is no force but there is a fear of injury 
Yeah, that's we have completed. Just write down. There is there are few points. There are four points of distinctions of theft and exp, uh, extortion. Just write it down in a tabular form. Arabic बोलो ना की लेखा चल हाँ distinction between theft and extortion उटा हमारा differentiation टा लिखो हाँ मार्च का एक टा दाग दी हमारा जन्म में लिखी ना उटा उटा ऐकने चार्टे point दिवाज के इंदौ में आरो बोल ची शेगलो टू लिखे ना ठीक है जे आगे theft and uh, because ए ए ए question टा every year आशे theft and extortion ने distinction टा तुमने लिखे ना हमें बोल ची প্রথমে একটা হেডিং দিয়ে এখানে আমরা যেমন ভাবে লিখি প্রথমে একটা এটা যদি অফলাইন হতো আমি ভালো করে দেখাতে পারতাম না এখান থেকে বোঝানো যাবে না আমি এখানে নোটস থেকে বোঝানো যাবে না আমি নিজের হাতে লেখা আছে যদি মানে আমরা কি রকম ভাবে লিখি প্রথমে একটা ডেফিনিশন দিলাম থেফট ডেফিনিশন দেন বিয়ার এক ডেফিনিশন দিলাম দেন মাঝখানে দিলাম ওয়্যারেস দেন লিখলাম আমরা এক্সটর্শনের ডেফিনিশন দিলাম দেন তারপরে আমরা নিচে লিখলাম ফ্রম দিস এবাউট ডেফিনিশন we may differentiate to the theft and the extortion under tabular form then amra left side e lekho tumra theft ar right side e extortion likhecho boyachhe tomar kotha ha 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 dekho bhai je ki bolche kichu bol matha dukche na ami je bhi sob boke jacche mongol gro theke esche ki bolche surang bujhte hobe shekhi boyachhe tai to সো থেফট এর মানেটা কি দাও খাতার মধ্যে আবার এক্সট্রাকশন এর দিকে দেখতে দাও মাসখানে একটা মাসখানে একটা না যেমন হলো বেসিক্যালি ডেফিনিশন যেমন লিখি মানে ডিফারেন্স যেমন করে লিখি সেরকম করি সামান সুরিদ দত্ত হুম বলছিলাম যে মানে বেসিক্যালি আমরা যেমন করে ডিফারেন্স লিখি তেমন করেই লিখব so first so first differentiation section 378 of the indian penal law uh, penal code sorry 1860 defines theft first sir section, please pardon yes section koto section 378 theft at uh, section 383 extortion প্রথমে সেকশনে ডিফারেনশিয়েটর ডিফারেনশিয়েশন সাইডে তোমরা সাবজেক্ট দিও লিখতে পারো ফার্স্ট ইজ সেকশন ডিফারেনশিয়েশন এরকম করলে মার্কস আরো বেশি হবে মার্কস এর জন্য তো আমরা বিকজ এগুলো তো আসবেই নাম্বার 2 নাম্বার 2 এটা বলি নাম্বার 2 বলি হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ইন থেফট কমা the accused takes that movable property in theft the accused takes the movable property out of the possession of a person out of the possession of a person with that person without that person consent uh, the, please repeat in theft comma the accused takes the movable property out of the possession of a person without that person consent ekjon er kach theke ekjon je ta amra bollam ar ekjon er kach theke ekjon kichu ta dishonestly chiniye niche without the consent the accused does not obtain any consent the accused person does not obtain any consent on the other hand in extortion right down in the right dan dike lekho tumra extortion er jaygay in extortion comma the accused compels a person to hand over in extortion স্যার বলতে হবে দাদা বললেই হবে স্যার বলতে হবে ইন এক্সটর্শন দ্য অ্যাকিউজ কম্পেন্স আ পারসন 
please pardon in extortion comma the accused compens c o m p d s a person to hand over লিখেছি ছাত্ররা চন্দ্রাবলি यस यस প্রপার্টি দা অ্যাকিউজড অবটেইন দা অ্যাকিউজড অবটেইনস কনসেন্ট অফ দা ওনার অর পজেসর P O S S E W S O R পজেসর অফ দা প্রপার্টি by using force and violence which is written next point in theft only dishonest intention is seen in theft only dishonest intention is seen in the act of accused only dishonest intention is seen seen mane dekha okay in the act of accused accused on the other hand in extortion beside dishonest dishonest intention the accused puts the owner or possessor in fear of injury and even to cause death please pardon this point in extortion comma beside dishonest intention comma the accused puts the owner or possessor in fear of injury rono joy yes ma'am rono joy sorry to interrupt yes ma'am go yes. bit slow okay acha acha okay 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 acha okay. uh please repeat the last part which which one which one please sister put the owner sir beside is on his uh, which one which one please after beside dishonest in uh, honest intention is it from the theft or extortion dishonest oh acha acha dishonest in, in intention extortion yeah. the accused the accused puts puts the owner or in public possessor who is the possessing of the property possessor in fear of in fear of injury in injury injury i n j u r y injury and even to cause death complete this point now next point can we move next point yes okay. number 4 theft can be committed only in case of movable property
only in case of monopoly property or extortion e likhe de extortion can be committed in respect of movable or immovable property property number 5 theft is without any force or violence extortion includes force and sometimes violence what about this extortion includes force and sometimes violence from the theft part only theft part theft is without force or violence কটা ডিসটিংশন আমরা লিখলাম পাঁচটা পাঁচটা আচ্ছা ছয় নম্বরে আয় থেফট ক্যান থেফট ক্যান ওভার ল্যাপ উইথ চিটিং ক্রিমিনাল মিস অ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েশন থেফট ক্যান উইথ চিটিং which cheating comma criminal misappropriation comma criminal breach of trust abar bolbo kritika মিসঅ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েশন in no occasion in no occasion o c c a s s i o n comma extortion can overlap with theft cheating criminal misappropriation and breach of trust mm -hmm. extortion can overlap with theft cheating criminal misappropriation comma criminal breach of trust etc number 7 last point in theft there is no delivery of property there is no delivery of property by the owner <clears throat> in extortion there is delivery of property by the owner এখানে কেন এক্সপ্রেশনে কেন ডেলিভারি অফ প্রপার্টি হচ্ছে কেন ডেলিভারি অফ প্রপার্টি কার কে বলতে পারে দেখি হু ইজ দ্য ইন্টেলিজেন্ট গার্ল অর বয় দেখি কে বলতে পারে কেন হচ্ছে এটা ডেলিভারি অফ প্রপার্টি একটু চিন্তা করে বল কারণ ওকে ভয় দেখিয়ে নাও হচ্ছে প্রপার্টিটা ভেরি গুড ভেরি গুড ঠিক ভয় দেখিয়ে নিচ্ছে বলে সেই যে ও নিজে থেকে দিয়ে দিচ্ছে হ্যাঁ ওকে বলছে যে আমি তোমার গলা কেটে দেবো কি হয়তো অন্য কিছু একটা ওকে কিছু একটা বলেছে সেই জন্য ও নিজে থেকে ওই ভ্যালিউয়েল প্রপার্টিটা দিয়ে দিচ্ছে ডেলিভারি অফ প্রপার্টি ঠিক আছে সো নাও আমাদের নেক্সট কি আছে দেখি
আচ্ছা এবারে রবারিতে আয় সেকশন 390 আমরা এটা খুল খুলেছিস হ্যালো হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ রনো জয় হ্যাঁ ম্যাম হ্যাঁ ম্যাম জাস্ট 5 মিনিটস লেফট ও ওকে ইউ ডোন্ট হ্যাভ টু স্টার্ট রবারি আচ্ছা আচ্ছা উই ক্যান কন্টিনিউ ইন দা নেক্সট ক্লাস আচ্ছা তাহলে ম্যাম ওদের নেক্সট ক্লাস কবে আছে বাট ইউ ক্যান কন্টিনিউ নেক্সট ক্লাস মানডে বাট ইউ ক্যান কন্টিনিউ উইথ দা কাইন্ডস অফ থেফট কাইন্ডস অফ থেফট ওকে হ্যাঁ ক্লাস class today. Yes. Thank you Ronan. Yes. Thank, thank you, you student. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Thank you dada. Okay bye. Ma'am next thank class you, is most probably uh, Ravindra Jayanti is there.